On December 18th, Nixon unleashed round-the-clock airstrikes that flattened targets around Hanoi and Haiphong. It would be remembered as the Christmas bombing. And all of a sudden, around Christmas time, we hear an arc light operation, B-52s, bum, 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 and it's all around, and it is just exploding, and everyone knew they were B-52s. And it's in the two years that I was there, that was the first time I ever heard a bomb. And it was close. It was really close. It was frightening, but we were still cheering. I mean, we were cheering because something was happening. Năm đấy tôi 10 tuổi và tôi tôi chứng kiến tất cả những cái chuyện đấy. Tôi chứng kiến cả cái làng nó sơ sát, không có một cái cây nào có thể còn nguyên vẹn. Ở dưới sông thì cá chết, ở trên bờ thì trâu bò chết và người chết. Những người hàng xóm của tôi có 6 người bị chết. Họ đang còn mang bầu một cái đứa con nhỏ trong bụng. Around the world, anti-war demonstrators returned to the streets. The Prime Minister of Sweden compared the United States to Nazi Germany. The Pope called the bombing which killed more than 1,600 civilians the object of daily grief. James Reston of the New York Times pronounced the raids war by tantrum. Republican Senator William Saxby of Ohio said the president had taken leave of his senses.